Tell you what, Dimes, you want to issue a challenge to me? You want to yeah. issue a challenge against the heavyweight champion? The only yeah. way you're going to get a shot at this is if you beat everybody else in that gauntlet match. Then I'll come out and I'll give you your oh. shot. Here and Dimes' Do television it. title may be slipping away as Amon, come on, Dimes. Amon goes for STH <laughs> straight to hell. The referee stopped the count, and what he didn't see was Smooth. But does it go back to what Smooth said when he talked about wanting to take the title away from Dimes? Well, personally. Changemaker! Out of nowhere! Dimes connects again and advances! This is the final round of the gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. And that sets up champion versus champion. It's time for the kill shot. Defended and won that championship many times as Smooth hops up on the apron. Smooth was trying to. Smooth tried to get involved. Tony just takes his head off. Down. The change maker. Change maker. Change maker. There it is. Into the cover. Dimes. Oh my. Three. One, two, three. Wait a minute. We got a new champion. It is a million dollar moment for New Albany's greatest son. Shock and disbelief in Davis Arena. As Dimes is the new OVW Heavyweight Champion. Tony Gunn is living. Josh Ashcraft and Josh, there is a big change in OVW right now, driven by a superstar named Dimes. That's right. Last week, our television champion Dimes managed to shock the world and defeat Tony Gunn for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Dimes, both the television champion and the heavyweight champion, and we will hear from him in his first interview as the heavyweight champion later tonight. Hey, and speaking of change, I want to speak for, switch from change to cash. I'm talking about Cash Flow. Who has he found to be his new tag team partner tonight? Well, Gilbert, you know, I'm an honest man, and I have absolutely no idea. But this is round two. After last week, Cash said that that wasn't the opponent he really had in mind. But tonight, it doesn't matter. They're still taking on the Southern Tag Team Champions. And King's Ransom. Hey, and speaking of champions, OVW's Anarchy Champion, Tommy Dreamer, is in the house. Yes, he is. So why don't you uh, quit your yapping, Corsine? Let's get to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit and it is for the OBW Anarchy Championship. Introducing first the challenger, accompanied to the ring by DL3 and Big D, Shiloh Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a rematch that has been five months in the making. And Josh, it is all that Shiloh Jones has been talking about since the November Saturday Night Shiloh Special Jones. when he lost the Anarchy I'm Championship to the innovator of violence, Precious the ECW the original, MC. and Tommy Dreamer. Well, you're absolutely right, Gilbert. Tommy Frankly, it's something I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing about. This is all Shiloh Jones has gone on and on about how it's not fair, it's not fair. Well, tonight, He's going to get his chance to win back his belt. And his opponent, he is the OVW Anarchy Champion, the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. ECW original professional wrestling legend, Tommy Dreamer in Davis Arena. Tweet your friends, call your family. This is an edition of OVW Television you do not want to miss. Hello everyone, it's great to be back here in OVW. 
I've been defending this title all over the world and doing it very, very proudly. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. The last time I was in Kentucky was in 2018. We are currently in 2019. My Kentucky license was not renewed. What? Yes. This is true. And if I wrestle tonight, I will be banned from wrestling in Kentucky for the rest of my life. Also true. Very stringent regulations here. And as much as I would like to hit you, the bigger thing is OVW would be fined a lot of money and put on suspension if I break that, and I don't want to break those rules and affect this great company that I feel I'm a founding person here. So, that does not mean that this title will not be defended because anything goes with this. And I'm gonna pick my replacement tonight. You're not just gonna be handed this title. I have not lost my smile. <laughs> so, without further ado, and I promise you I will make this up to every person here, every person watching on television, my hand-picked person to defend my title, the big man, Zo. The Juggernaut, and what a pick that is. 400 pounds. He is Jeez. athletic, he is agile, he is angelic. Could he also be the anarchy champion? Could we add another A to this straight A superstar? Well, Zo is a super heavyweight that moves like a cruiserweight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first time that you have ever seen this man. Do not let his size fool you. He is as quick as they come. You know, something tells me that this technicality with Tommy Dreamer in the licensing issue has Shiloh Jones written all over it. And, and Tommy's right here at the broadcast booth. Promising to make this all up, and I, I know that he's going to make good. But again, Shiloh Jones has been just a bit too cocky this week on his social media channels. He had to know. He, he had to have, to have a hand in this, in my opinion. Well, of course he did, as we see DL3 and Big D attempting to attack So, Look, the Anarchy Champion gets to make his own stipulation, so Tommy Dreamer was well within his rights and the rules of the Anarchy Division to put Zo in his place here. Oh, Tommy able to pick the replacement. I, I have to give him credit where credit's due. Zoe was the best choice he could have made. But there's no disqualification in this kind of scenario, so DL3 is using all these goons from the Entourage 2.0. Zoe's in a handicap match scenario, but Zoe's more than enough of a man to handle himself, it appears here, Josh. Two on one, three on one, four on one. Zoe never finds himself truly in a handicap situation as he takes both Shiloh and DL3 over. The juggernaut is rallying here with the Anarchy title on the line. Watch your back, Zo. And Big D. there goes him. Here comes, there goes, Big D. Seems like that becomes a reoccurring theme every week. Zo is standing tall once again with the opportunity to become a champion here in OVW. <laughs> Zo standing and dancing. Zo's got moves. <laughs> Dee Dee does. Shiloh Jones brought in here the hard way. Tommy Dreamer has gotten up for the broadcast booth. He is laser focused on this match right now. Well, of course, as, as he should be, he is technically still the OVW Anarchy Champion. It, it, so, I have a question here. If, if Zoe wins the title here, does, did Zoe become the champion or does Tommy Dreamer retain? No, Tommy retains. Tommy is still technically the champion. Zoe is just filling in, so Tommy is still anarchy champion. Hang on, roll up oh, here. There's the roll up, there's a distraction. There's the feet on the rope. One, two, three. Shiloh Jones has stolen the title. Here is your winner and new OVW anarchy champion. Shallow Joe! This is not the return that we all thought or expected would happen when Tommy Dreamer returned to OVW. The 
Anarchy title is now back with Entourage 2.0 and Shiloh Jones. No one saw this coming. Shiloh Jones manages to steal the Anarchy Championship, and now he's caught between a Zoe and a, well, My name is a hard place. Yeah, talk about a rock and a hard place. That's quite the pickle for the Entourage 2.0. <laughs> Zoe just made relish out of them pickles. DL3 trying to get up. What is he wearing? Are those? Is that a diaper? For adult diapers? Why? That's all I want to know. Why? Shallow's trying to. So I was wearing a singlet, Lolo. Well, like what and I, and I don't think even if, if the juggernaut wasn't wearing a singlet that he'd be wearing a, a diaper. <laughs> Well, our Anarchy Champion finds himself in a bad position here where... Oh my gosh! Oh, so! Oh, no! Uh. No, no, no! <laughs> Talk about being scared. Uh, the crap the Family being... show, family show! Well, the crap being scared out of Shiloh Jones. What a crappy situation. Ah, oh, he rolled in it. But you could say that again. Do you smell it? Hey, unfortunately. Do you smell it? Oh, referees! The referee's about to hurl. Zoe gets the laugh, la last laugh, but Shiloh Jones, nonetheless, leaves with the Anarchy Championship and a memory that we cannot forget. A diaper? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't even know what just happened. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory, to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you've loved a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. My name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Dead 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVW Wrestling Network.com. That's OVW Wrestling Network.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No! Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVW Wrestling Network.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Price is so low, they're insane. Welcome back to Ohio Valley Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome my guest at this time the television champion and new OVW heavyweight champion, Dimes! Dimes showed he was money last week, managing to win the gauntlet match to not only retain that OVW television championship, but also become the new OVW heavyweight champion. What a moment. Dime shocked the world when his change maker really was a change maker here in OVW, making Dimes a dual champion. And also making him an even bigger target for everyone else in the back that wants to hold championship gold, Dime. Absolutely. Dimes, come on in here. Let me shake your hand and be the first to congratulate you on what was a Magical and what many are saying, a shocking night last week here on OVW Television. You went into the gauntlet, not only retained your heavyweight title, but also left the OVW heavyweight champion. And 
Earlier this week, we learned some very serious news about Tony Gunn. You may have seen it on his social media channels. The Gunn has actually been wrestling with a very serious injury that he suffered back at Clash in the Bluegrass against Sammy Callahan, a torn tendon. He had surgery this week, and the shotgun is out of action now for four to six months. But Dimes, that means the chase of the former champion challenger is off of your back, and at the same time, the door is wide open for new opponents. Are you ready with two titles for that kind of challenge? I am so prepared to take on anyone in the back. You said something about being surprised or being shocked. Let me tell you something, Gilbert. I was not shocked when I won. I prepare and I bust my butt every week. I, to win the television championship, beat not one, not two, not three, not four, but five men back to back to back to back to back. And last week, yeah, Tony was injured, but I beat Tony Gunn. I beat the champ. He makes no point. This is absolutely not a mistake, and the fans are behind me. So, you know, I know that there's people in the back that are upset, but they need to wake up because I am the champ champ now, Gilbert. I run the show. So this is an open invitation to anybody in the back. Uh -oh. The door is wide open to anyone who wants to take me. <laughs> As Amon makes his way out here. Talk about out of the frying pan into the fire for time. I decided to slither in so I'd be on your level, little man. <laughs> Oh, little man, little man, huh? you have a challenge? Here's the thing, guys. This boat right here, I never lost it. I held that title. I held it. And I've never lost it. So the challenge is here, guys. The challenge is here. I've put you through hell, time, and time, and time again. The only reason you still have those belts hey, is because of Justin Smooth. No, no, no. The reason I have these belts is because I want them. I beat you time <laughs> after time after time. Hell, Saturday, I beat your butt one-on-one. -on -one. I pinned you one, two, three, not once, not twice, but three times. I'm better than you. I'm better than Justin Smooth. I'm better than Tony Gunn. I like him. All right then, Dimes, you think you can stand up to hell? You think you're big enough for eternity? Well, Dimes, tonight, then put the belt on the line. Put the both belts on the line. I've, I've put you through hell. Tonight, I'm going to take you to hell and leave you there. <laughs> Ominous words out of Amon, but the Trinidad Titan, Justin Smooth. What, what is he even doing out here, Doc? I'm not sure, but he looks as happy as can be. And I want to know why. Hey, hey! That's OVW Commissioner Dean Hill, and well, he does not look very happy, Doc. Oh, uh, Dino does not look happy at all as he follows Justin Smooth out Some, here. Something doesn't smell right here. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling we're about to find out. Dean Hill reluctant to get in the ring. Justin, Justin Smooth. Smooth and Dean Hill, you're all smiles. Dean, I I've seen you in, in better moods. What is this all about? Dean, you're, you're saying, tell him, Dean, tell us what. I know what I've got to say. 
I can't believe that you're willing to go to this death. This stoop. Tell them exactly what we found, I Dean. What to say. Dean, what is it? Clue us all in. What's going on here? Back up. It's as simple as this. He has gotten a loophole that has pointed out to us that, in fact, we cannot allow you to hold on to both titles. I'm sorry. I know what you've gone through to get to this point. But I know. But unfortunately, you're going to have to give up one of them. It's your choice. Wait, you're, you're saying that Dimes has to vacate either the television or the OVW Heavyweight Championship? It's, is that what you found out, Justin Smooth? Dean, there's nothing you can do about this? Nothing I can do about it, and I can't believe I didn't think you were willing to go this low. All right, then, Dimes, what's it going to be? What are you going to do here? One of the titles has to go. Wow, what a, what a choice. I know it's a tough call. I know it's a tough decision. You're literally caught in, in, in a terrible position here. It sounds like you got to make a decision, my friend. I rightfully won both of these, Dean. I'm gonna kill this. Nothing is more important to me than this OVW Heavyweight Championship. That shows me you're a class act. I'm proud of you. Dimes relinquishing the OVW oh Television God. Championship. Oh you're you're, you're tearing me up. You are tearing me up. You know what? You should include me in that match tonight. You understand me? Because I just cost you one of your titles. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Include me in the match tonight, and you could kick my butt, brother. Come on. You want to be in the match? You got it. What? I've been waiting to kick your what? ass for weeks, and tonight you're getting it. My championship. Triple threat. Dimes, aim on it, smooth, triple threat. Dean, is it official? You sure you want this? You sure? Dimes has lost his damn mind. Dean Hill's law says triple threat. Make it. Major main event for OVW tonight. If a client comes to me and they've been a victim of domestic violence, that's not just a single event. That's a state that they are in. So we're going to address their immediate safety, but throughout that process, I'm dealing with a bullied client. We can't make child custody based on fear, especially when there's no longer something to be afraid of. When we've addressed the attacker and removed them from the situation, now we can make reasoned decisions, not fearful ones. Blockbuster main event sign for OBW Television, Triple Threat. Oh, <laughs> my! Look who's back! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Cash Flow and the Hood Ninja, Isaiah! <laughs> Isaiah was a founding member of the Legacy of Brutality. Uh, Cash Flow said he was going to go out and get a new partner, and Josh Boy did he. Oh, you always go with family, Gil. They never let you down. Isaiah, a former tag team champion here in OVW and a member of the Legacy of Brutality with Cash Flow. It looks like this legacy tonight is trying to write a new chapter. Oh, the LOB might be writing a new chapter tonight, but look at what's coming through the curtain and look at what awaits Cash Flow and Ha! And their opponents, the OVW Tag Team Champions, Maximus Leonis. King's Ransom! King's Ransom, the team that broke onto the scene in 2018 with all the potential in the world, stepped into their promise when they defeated the War Kings at the April edition of the Saturday Night Special and became OVW Southern Tag Team Champions. 
They became OVW Southern Tag Team Champions, but they made a mistake when they crossed Cash Flow and got on his bad side. Last week, King's Ransom defeated Cash Flow and Brandon Espinoza. Cash passed the blame to Espinoza and said, I can find a better partner. Now, if Isaiah and Cash are successful, Doc, then they will get a shot at the OVW Southern Tag Team titles in King's Ransom. Well, I was kind of curious because Brandon Espinosa is a well-seasoned grappler and a tag team specialist. I was like, who could he find as a better partner? Well, a man he has history with, a man who has a legacy of uh, brutality, if you will. As Josh said, when you, when, you need, when you need a friend, when you need a favor, when you need something done, you call family. And uh, whether you like Isaiah and Cash Flow or not, you got to admit, guys, this is a good pick. Are the tag team champions up for this here, Doc? Of course it's a good pick, Gilbert. I'm just excited to see this tag team matchup. This is a dream match here. Collar and elbow tie up here. You're not going to get the better of cash flow in a power game. Now, King's Ransom, I'll give it to them. They're big, strong boys. But look at the size of cash. Indeed. 6'4", 340. And the proprietor of the chop shop. Look at this power from Cash Flow. Cass absoluting, absolutely obliterating Maximus Khan with that shoulder tackle. Guys, it's a big fight night in Davis Arena and OVW this week. We still have a mega main event that will see a triple threat for the OVW Southern or the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Oh, oh, oh. Double shoulder tackle taking Cash down to the mat. Dimes defending at both against Amon and Smooth. And I cannot believe, I mean, tonight is an amazing night. We're also going to have a new OVW television champion tonight, too. Hang on, blind tag made there. I don't think that Leonis realizes Isaiah, the legal oh, man. The Hood Ninja is in the house. High with that backhanded knuckle strike. Battle-tested ring veteran. That is Isaiah, Josh, and you know him very well. In fact, you <laughs> introduced Isaiah to OVW with the legacy of brutality. Uh, yeah, that's right. My legacy of brutality. There's one member missing here tonight from that founding three, and that's so. Isaiah was my assassin. He was my hired gun, my ninja. LOB was a team that lived on pain. They <laughs> liked to cause carnage. They liked to cause chaos. High hitting the west side slam, tags back in cash, and you're right. We liked hurting people. We still like hurting people. I love watching these two. Look at these. Whoa. Mm. Clearly showing that this is not the first time that they've worked together. The champions are in trouble. One, two and a half. Oh, we had new contenders. Again, if Isaiah and Cash Flow, this reunited legacy of brutality, can defeat King's Ransom, they will get a Southern Tag Team title shot. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the OOB has held tag team gold in the Davis Arena, and Isaiah wants to make it one more time. That's why Cash brought him in. And at one point in time, LOB was the most dominant tag team on the OVW roster, Doc. Certainly so, and they ran off about all the other tag teams here. Now it looks to me like they're going for round two. And they have neutralized oh. King's Ransom, and there's the chop shop. Cash is trying to cave in the chest of Leonis Khan, and I love it. I love the sound it makes. Do it again, Cash. Wicked headbutt from Big Man. Oh. Irish whip with authority, and here comes, oh! Cash using his body like a catapult. It's like having a building thrown at you. Went to the well one too many times. Leonis Khan able to create some distance here quickly up to the top rope here. What's the champ got in mind? Oh, hey. no. And just that quick distraction stopped the momentum that was building here for King's Ransom, Doc. Certainly so, and this looks like it's breaking down here, Gilbert. Well, the referee's completely lost control of this one. High now throws that clothesline, manages to hit Maximus. Maximus ducks, takes High out of the ring, up and over both, go, both men. Cash hits the Wall Street crash right in the middle of the ring. Champions are in trouble here, Josh. Absolutely, Cash is going up top. What's he, what's he looking at? Wait a minute. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. 
What the hell is he doing you here? You know that ponytail, that's Sam Thompson. Why is Sam Thompson out here? I mean, I, I, he looks like he's on the cleaning crew. He has absolutely no business being out at ringside for this. You know that Thompson lost his job because he couldn't defeat Cash Flow. He put his career on the line, and now he's he looks like he's making a career in environmental. Oh my God! Oh my God! But back in the ring, that is a super no, duper. No, 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 no! One, two, Get and it! three. King Ransom reigns supreme. Here are your winners, Maximus and Leonis. King Ransom. No, 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 no. King Ransom didn't come out on top. They didn't reign supreme because they were a better team. It was because of Sam Thompson. Can't Sam Thompson. He shouldn't be here. Why not? Everybody needs a job. Everybody's got to work. He got fired. He just cost cash and high a chance at the tag title. Calm down. Another big victory for King Ransom. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is the official training and medical partner for Ohio Valley Wrestling. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation is designed to help manage spine, hip, and knee pain both before and after surgery. Personal Fitness and Rehabilitation will ensure that you reach and maintain your lifestyle and fitness goals. Get back in the game of life. Call 502-875-4737 for an appointment now or visit www.pfrhealth.com. Dot com to learn more. Your life, your health, better. Hi, my name is Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Dead 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No! Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Prices so low, they're insane. What's up, golden girl? <laughs> what you think about the new golden guy, huh? <laughs> Check this out. My belt has barbed wire. What did yours have back in the day? Tuna cans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Becky White. It's, it's Betty White. It means... It means Betty White. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Make sure you get your nap. We're all <laughs> gonna leave together. <laughs> hey, uh, Thunder Kitty? Yeah. I, uh, hear you've been getting a lot of really, really nice gifts lately. Maybe. And I, uh, may or may not know the guy in charge of said gifts. Is that right? Yeah, and uh, yeah. hypothetically, if that guy were in this room and wanted to maybe, I don't know, take you on a dinner date or breakfast if it wasn't too late, uh, what would you think of that? Hypothetically, of course. <laughs> Well, I guess you just think you're real funny, huh? You're just going to take advantage of the old lady? Oh, hey, old lady, come on out to dinner with me to the restaurant. We'll just happen to use your senior discount. Well, you're not going to take advantage of me. Now get out of here, dum-dum. Thank you. Your first competitor, Ashton Cole. Thanks to a little-known rule, ladies and gentlemen, Dimes had to vacate the OVW Television Championship earlier tonight. And that means in this gauntlet, we will have a new OVW Television Champion. Yeah, you're right, we'll have a new OVW Television Champion, but I'm still stewing about what we just saw moments ago. Dimes Introducing the contestant who drew number two, Dustin Jackson! Jackson and Lily among the favorite superstars on the OVW roster, but going back to Dimes, he will, oh, wow! Jackson wasting no time in this one, taking the fight right to Ashton Cole. In fact, you remember that Jackson essentially had to vacate the title because the television champion has to defend every week. Well, after Jackson got his face shattered by Colton Cage, he couldn't defend the title and he had to give it up. Jackson hasn't forgot about that. It's a big opportunity. He wants that title back tonight. Might get his chance here, go for the big splash. Jackson perched on top, look at the splash. And Jackson making quick work in the opening go-ins of this gauntlet. Ashton Cove has been eliminated. 
What I was trying to say is that Dimes, the former television champion, still the heavyweight champion, will be in action in our main event, Triple Threat, defending against both Amon and Justin Smooth. Contestant number three, Nigel Winters! Incoming! Oh! Jackson throws caution to the wind. Wind, high risk and a big reward. Dustin Jackson, the only thing on his mind right now is regaining that OVW Television Championship. Look, in a gauntlet, speed matters most, and Jackson is burning through competitors here. He's perched on top again, and just that quickly here, one, two, three, Jackson's halfway through the gauntlet. Nigel Winters has been eliminated. Could this be record time? I, I'm, I'm not sitting in front of the record books, but I almost guarantee it is. Sounds a little familiar, that music, though, Gilbert. Indeed it does. Public enemy number one and Dustin Jackson's worst enemy. Here comes Colton Cage. Contestant number four, Colton Cage. Cage is the reason that Dustin Jackson has to wear that protective eyewear to the ring. Wait, that, what is that? What is that? What is that? It's like mace. It looks God, like you maced him. Do you smell it? <laughs> did Colton Cage just mace Dustin Jackson? He did, he just maced man, Dustin. And manhandle his ex-wife? <laughs> Remember, Dustin's eye's already not 100% <laughs> after it was shattered by Colton Cage. Oh, good job, Colton. Maybe this will luckily take Dustin out for good. Dustin's already got only half of his sight, Doc. What does mace do to him now? I don't know. He makes him blind. That's what it does. He had half, now he has none of it. I've said it for weeks. Colton Cage is the true TV champion. The referee has informed me that Colton Cage has been disqualified. What? He can't seriously be shot. However, Dustin Jackson also is unable to continue in this contest. Therefore, Dustin Jackson has also been eliminated. Wait, wait, wait. So both competitors are eliminated. So are we going down to the final two now? I guess so. I'm still trying to figure out how Colton Cage gets DQ. Well, one of the next two superstars is going to be your new OVW television champion. And look who just slithered through Ooh. the hurt. Contestant number five, accompanied to the ring by the self-proclaimed world heavyweight radio champion, Shannon the Dude, Adam Revolver. Adam Revolver, a multi-time former OVW television champion, has just stepped into a prime position now in this television title gauntlet. There's only one guy for Revolver to go through here. Oh, and that should be a cakewalk for Adam Revolver. You're looking at a triple crown champion in OVW multiple times and over. And the final competitor. Let's see who he's got to face here. Revolver's going to lock on the sleeper, and this one's going to be done. I don't know that music. Oh, my Mr. God. Mr. Pectacular, Jesse. Serena! It's been years since we've seen Mr. Pectacular, Jesse Goddard, in the Davis Arena. He looks better than ever. Cut from granite is Mr. Pectacular, multi-time former OBW Southern Tag Team Champion, part of the best team ever, and picking up right where he left off here in OVW. So, guys, Goddard, it's and look at this strength display. Just with my gutters. Look at this. Watch out, Adam! Jesse Goddard is a supreme athlete. And clearly the OVW faithful. Look at that vertical lead. Laces out is what he calls the drop kick. And the faithful here in Davis Arena clearly have not forgotten. Whoa! There's the power slam. The leg is hooked to... Oh, my God! Goddard is the television champion! Welcome back. Your winner and the new 
OVW Television Champion, Mr. Pectacular, Jesse Goddard. It is a spectacular return for Pectacular, Jesse Goddard, the Television Champion in OVW. You have to assure them and protect them from the idea that they have to pick one. They have to be able to love both of their parents as much as they want to. What makes this really difficult is your spouse may not be sending that same message and you have to do it anyway. That's what's important. Your children want to know what's going to happen to them. They have to know that they're loved and they have to know that they're allowed to love both of their parents. And you have to hold that line even if you're the only one doing it. Brought to you by Lemmy Law. Need a lawyer? Get Lemmy at LemmyLaw.com. OVW and Lemmy Law, an unbeatable tactic. Tell them exactly what we found, I Dean. What to say. Dean, what is it? Clue us all in. What's going on here? Back up. It's as simple as this. He has gotten a loophole that has pointed out to us that, in fact, we cannot allow you to hold on to both titles. I'm sorry. I know what you've gone through to get to this point. But I know, but unfortunately, you're going to have to give up one of them. It's your choice. I rightfully won both of these, Dean. I'm going to kill this. Nothing is more important to me than this OVW Heavyweight Championship. That shows me you're a class act. I'm proud of you. You are tearing me up. You know what? You should include me in that match tonight. You understand me? Because I just cost you one of your titles. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Include me in the match tonight, and you could kick my butt, brother. Come on. You want to be in the match? You got it. What? I've been waiting to kick your what? ass for weeks, and tonight you're getting it. My championship. Triple threat. Dimes, aim on it, smooth, triple threat. Dean, is it official? You sure you want this? You sure? Dimes just lost his damn mind. Dean Hill's law says triple threat. Make it. Comes, ladies and gentlemen, Satan's favorite sinner, the demon himself, Amon, on a night that has seen the return of Isaiah, Tommy Dreamer in the house, a new anarchy champion crowned in Shiloh Jones, the return of Jesse Goddard. A new television champion in Jesse Goddard. What is to come now in our main event? What a wild night of OVW television. It's been a ride from start to finish, Gilbert. As we see Justin Smooth make his way out here for this triple threat main event match, we have reached the pinnacle of this mountaintop tonight, Gil. Smooth has been playing, in my opinion, a game of, of human chess. Last week, he sat at commentary and said he wanted to defeat Dimes. He wanted to take the championship off Dimes. He was talking about the television championship at that time. Well, Dimes had to vacate the title, that title earlier tonight, because he became the heavyweight champion with the assistance of Justin Smooth. Now that very title is on the line in this triple threat. So does that mean that we call Justin Smooth a, a puppet master at this point? Certainly a master manipulator. Or do we honestly say that it, it should have been Justin Smooth the whole time? And here comes a young man with a heart the size of Texas. The guts, the will, the drive, the desire of Dines. It is the stuff that legends are made of. He defied the odds and shocked everyone last week when he became 
the OVW Heavyweight Champion. But could he be making the a following mistake is a triple now? threat match with a 60 minute time limit, and it is for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Introducing the first contender to my left from Brooklyn, New York, by way of Trinidad. He is the Trinidad Titan, Justin Smooth. Smooth has been so close for so long. Contender number two to my right, from the fiery pit, Amon. And the demon is right, he never lost the heavyweight championship. And lastly, it he is your reigning and defending OBW heavyweight champion. Dimes! But Dimes, as of late, has been wrestling like a million bucks. Could it be another big money night? And the champion's not even gonna wait for the referee to ring the bell. He goes right after Justin Smooth. Dimes just lacing Justin Smooth with rights and forms, now turning his attention to Amon. You know, Dimes has had Amon's number, Gilbert. Could he have well, it he's, again? he's had Amon's number, but he's also had some assistance two weeks in a row from Justin Smooth, and, and that's just the facts of what happened, Josh. I mean, you're not wrong, but let's let's be honest here. Dom still was the one that made the cover. Dom still got the win. How much, I, I would say, does it play into a psychological advantage, but it's Amon we're talking about. And Dimes proving the smartest one in the ring in the opening going to this contest. Look at him. He is not afraid. Like a Jack Russell Terrier, this man has no fear. Yeah, not only no fear, but Dimes clearly saying, feeling like he's got something to prove. Uh, he feeling might, like he's been underestimated. He might be fighting like a Jack Russell, but I have a feeling the Trinidad Titan might put him to sleep. But Dimes did not have to put his title on the line here in, in, at all. Certainly not in a triple threat. Oh, oh. Look at this offense out of Dimes. Hooked Justin Smooth through a tornado DDT and gave him on a drop kick for good measure. Not backing down is Dimes, the heavyweight title on the line. Wrestling, wrestling. a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. It doesn't matter if you go out a day in your life. Within four to six weeks, we're gonna teach you how to weld. My name's Barry Radcliffe. You might recognize me from such films as The Longest Ride or Ted 2. Now, as a successful actor, I have two planes, a supermodel wife, countless exotic cars, and a ton of cash. You might think it couldn't get any better than this, but you'd be wrong for only $4.99. You could get OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. That's OVWWrestlingNetwork.com for only $4.99. Now, will your life be as good as this? No! Will it be better? Yes, and I guarantee that. That's not valid anywhere. OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99. Tomorrow's yesterday is today. Prices so low, they're insane. You're back here in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. The champion's in Cover. trouble here. Dimes shoulders are on the mat. This is a triple threat match for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Dimes the champion defending against Justin Smooth and Amon. And guys in triple threat in his isolate and conquer. Yeah, Dimes has to really use his speed to his advantage here and try to hit and run, stick and move, stick and move, if you will. Well, he's doing the smartest thing right now, just laying on the mat. It has been a wild night of OVW television. Shiloh Jones, the new Anarchy Champion. Mr. Spectacular, Jesse Goddard, <laughs> the new television champion. You never know what's going to happen in OVW. Tonight is a perfect example. We might have a new heavyweight champion here in the next few minutes. And Smooth, who for the last several weeks has been trying to be master manipulator, has crafted this situation where oh. Dimes had to fail. Oh, my. 
Look at this. How do you hurt a demon? Smooth hit, Amon with that short T-bone suplex. Amon just popped back right, right back up. Smooth created this situation where Dimes had to vacate the television title and then essentially goaded the champion into creating this triple threat match for the other belt that he had left. Both men down in the ring right now. Dimes needs to try to get in here and capitalize. Yeah, but can he do it? Or with tonight, tonight could end up being the worst night of Dimes' life. He had to give up the television championship. If he doesn't win this one, he has no championship. Or could it be the best, Doc? Could he finally prove that he's not the underdog and he is the king of the mountain that he believes he is in the pit of his soul? Could he prove that here tonight? What he's been trying to prove for the last several months. This isn't just a fight for a championship, Gilbert. Dimes is in the fight of his life right now against these two, the Trinidad Titan and Satan's favorite center. Dimes perched on top, waiting for his moment, and Dimes connects. He picked his spot and he picked it well, taking down both the Titan and the Demon. The grandest prize in our company is on the line right here. Dimes, that running knee to the midsection, tries to get a little bit of an advantage Whoa. here on Smooth. Ducks under street justice. But Dimes went for a change maker, couldn't connect. The champion's on top here, the leg is hooked. And Amon's there to stop the press. Dimes tried to go for a seated senton there. Only managed to get the one count. Amon just right on him. Up and over goes Dimes. Dimes connects with the head scissor. Into the insigiri now. Oh! And trying to chop the demon down to size. Series of super kicks from Dimes. Oh! Taking out the legs of Amon. Smart work by the heavyweight champion. Change maker, change maker, oh, change oh. maker, but he snaps out of midair, Josh. Full Nelson applied from Amon. Amon just sounded that, had it coming. Dimes is about to go straight to hell. The demon hits it. Could it be over here? Could the heavyweight title be slipping away from the champion? Why isn't he covering him, Doc? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Smooth, sleek thin. One, two, three, the Trinidad Titan. The Trinidad Titan is the new OVW heavyweight champion. Here is your winner and new OVW heavyweight champion, the Trinidad Titan. Justin Smooth! Look at that smile! The master manipulator played the better game here, Josh! The puppet master pulled the strings and got the result he wanted. Justin Smooth is your heavyweight champion! Gun, Dean, Dine, Amon, were they all just pawns in Smooth's game? He's the new heavyweight champion!